Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 10.1. We're going to talk about concentration, which is looking at ratios of salute to solvent. So you've got part over total again and again and again. Calculating different ways for get confirmations, and get your calculator and a periodic table. Let's hop to it. Time to concentrate. A solution. Hey, that's a definition. It's a solute plus a solvent in a homogeneous mixture. Remember, a homogeneous mixture where every sample would have the same amount as every other one. So, for example, if you look at that, hopefully that's homogeneous, but if I had one that only had the dots up here, it would not be homogeneous because it would be different on the bottom than on the top. Salute is the smaller part there may be more than one of a mixture so for example if I have Kool-Aid and I have sugar and I have Kool-Aid powder and I have water the solute would be the sugar and the Kool-Aid powder and the solvent I'm sorry the sugar and the Kool-Aid powder solvent would be the biggest part which is most typically water but not always the concentration of a solution describes how much solute is in the solution. So if I compared concentrated to dilute, concentrated would have way more solute particles in it than the dilute ones. See how that one has fewer particles per whatever area you're looking at. So I suppose I should go, go crazy on this one. That's concentrated. Woo, look at all that. Mm. So if this was sugar water, it would taste sweeter. If this was sugar water, it would taste less sweet. Concentration by percent. Um, percent is just mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. So again, it's part over total times 100%, but we're just going to do it in mass. Okay. So vinegar is 5% acetic acid solution, which means I have 5 grams of acetic acid for every 100 grams of total solution. Same thing is true. This is hydrogen peroxide, which you put in your boo-boos if you get a cut. Example problems, 200 grams solution, that means the total of sugar water is made up of 250 grams of water. 250 grams is the bigger part, right? So that's the solvent. So if you remember, percent is little part, solute, over total. I need to find out that little part. So 290 total minus 250, bigger part, equals 40. So solution, abbreviation for solution is S-O-L apostrophe N. This is solvent equals solute. So then percent is part of our total times 100%. So my part is 40 and my total is 290 times 100%. And I put that in my happy little calculator. 40 divided by 290 is 13.8% of sugar. How many grams of magnesium sulfate are required to make 250 grams? You should go, oh, magnesium sulfate, I don't know what that is. Now I'll tell you right now, it doesn't matter for this problem, but magnesium is Mg. If you look at the periodic table, it's plus 2. Sulfate is SO4, one of the ions you memorized, minus 2. So that means those twos cancel, it's MgSO4. How many grams of magnesium sulfate are required to make 250 grams of a 1.6% solution? So remember, percent is part over total times 100%. And what I like to do if I'm given the percent is I just put it in the decimal form and get, get rid of this. So I make it 0.016, that gets rid of that, equals the part oh, required to make 250. So how many grams of magnesium sulfate? That's what I'm looking for. Grams of magnesium sulfate, that's the part. I require to make 250 grams of solution, that's my total. So to solve for this, I would take P equals 0 0.016 times 250. And when I put that in my calculator, I get 4.00 grams MgSO4. 12 grams of potassium nitrate is dissolved in 20 grams of water. Okay, So this, the water, is the solvent. This is a smaller part, which is the solute. What is the mass of the solute? Hey, I just labeled that 12 grams. What is the mass of the solvent? Hey, I labeled that 
20. What's the mass of the solution? 12 plus 20 equals 32 grams. What is the percent concentration of the solution? Remember, that's always part over total times a hundo. So that is 12 over 32 times a hundo. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze on podcast for the first time. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay, so 12 divided by, whoops, 12 divided by 32 times 100 is 37.5%. All right, another way to describe concentration is molarity. Oh, on this one, I think I need to change my ink color to make this a better thought. So molarity, like the word molar, I'll even go to a thicker one, so. This guy wishes he had some, okay? So molarity is, the definition of molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. The unit is called molar, it's capital M. So what does five molar HCl mean? It means five moles of HCl in one liter of water or a ratio of that. By the way, if you have nothing better to do on this wonderful weekend, please go to IHateMyTeeth.com because you will smile and smile and smile and smile. What is the molarity of 2.5 liter solution that was made with 45 grams of NaCl? Molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution and here's where you'll see how annoying we are. Notice I have 45 grams of NaCl. Oh man, I have to change grams to moles still. Remember way back when doing that? I hope so. 45 grams of NaCl. Hate you grams of NaCl. And go into moles of NaCl. One mole and little g stands for grams and little g stands for go to the periodic table. Sodium is 22.99. Chlorine is 35.45. And that was 58.4 point, I forget, now I have to really do it, that's just sad. 22.99 plus uh, 35.45 is 58.44 grams. And 45 divided by answer is 0 0.770 moles. So here, I'm going to do molarity equals 0.77 over 2.5 liters divided by 2.5 and my units are capital M it'd be read 0.308 molar how many grams of calcium chloride must be dissolved to make 25 milliliters of 3.5 molar solution notice again Molarity is moles over liters, but we always ask for grams, so you're going to have to do that extra calculation. So again, molarity equals moles over liters. Um, so what do I have here? I have 3.5 molar. And instead of 25 milliliters, hopefully you remember there's three decimal place change here. Equals moles over 0 0.025. I hope you can make that change. If not, learn now. Move the decimal places three spots to the left if you have milliliters to get to liters. You're going to use that a lot. So moles are going to equal 3.5 times 0.05, 0 .5 times 0 0.025, and I get to 0.0875 moles. Now I need to know how many grams that is. 0 0.0875 moles of calcium chloride. Change to grams. Hate you, moles. So I'll put you on the bottom to cancel you. Go to grams of calcium chloride. One mole. And calcium is 40.06 plus 35.45 is chlorine times 2. Close my parentheses. And I get 110.96. So when I do that math, I get 0 0.0875 times 110.96 is 9.71 grams of cackle 2. Yay! You need 800 milliliters of a 1.5 molar NaOH solution to neutralize some acid that's spilled. How would you prepare it? Now this is very important. You add enough 
water. Now these words need to be in your description of everyone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how would you prepare it? So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to figure out how many moles and how many grams. So molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution. I have 1.5 molar and I'm solving for moles and my liters are 1, 2, 3, 0. 0.800. Oh, oh. So the moles that I have are 1.5 times 0.8 is 1.2 of NaOH. So I'm going to change that into grams. So 1.2 moles NaOH times dividing bar moles NaOH grams NaOH 1 mole and 22.99 is sodium plus 16 is oxygen plus 1.01 .01 is hydrogen and that gives you 40.00 times 1.2 is 48. Okay, so if you do that, how would you prepare it? Okay, so what you do is you take your answer, 48 grams of NaOH, and add, you cannot predict how many milliliters it would be. You're not going to add 800 because this takes up a little bit of space, but it doesn't take up much space. And it's, you can't predict it. You just have to add add enough. I, I put down water. I'm going to write DH2O. That means distilled water because you want to add water without the impurities and stuff. To get 800 milliliters of solution. Just to remind you where the 800 came from. You could call it 0.8 liters if that makes you happy. Review. There are several ways to describe how much solute is in a solution. All of these are different ways of saying concentration. It's a part over another part, or a part over total, right? So percent solution describes how much solute is in solution by mass. And you can do the same thing by volume, but we almost never do. Molarity describes how many moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, of solute are in solution. And the concentration of a solution doesn't change. Do you have a lot of solution or just a little bit? So in other words, what's more concentrated? A big jug of Kool-Aid or a little glass of Kool-Aid? What's more concentrated? They're the same. Amount doesn't affect concentration. It's a ratio. And on that happy word, I will say toodles.